what happened in the last 20 months is insane. And if you were to put it on our show, you might say it was over the top. It was cool filming the election this season while the election was going on. That was, that was interesting. But the, the madness that's happening in, in the current, with this current administration is, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be, people are going to watch House of Cards and be like, that's not so crazy. Nation. How closely does your show, this season, season five, resemble the current political climate? Are you guys ripping headlines in a way? The show doesn't do that. Yeah, no. No. They, they, they have, you know, the, the season's um, outline set up already. Um, like I don't a year before yeah, you ever even I, see yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, certainly <clears throat> things occur in the show that and tend to and inevitably mirror what's going on in the real world, but they don't go out trying to steal stuff that's actually happening. It wouldn't be entertaining, would it? if you've already seen it. Yeah, I, I am curious though to know your opinion on this. Which is crazier, House of Cards season five? Trump. Or our current Trump. political <laughs> Trump. What happened this, this year? Definitely this is crazy. insane, what's happening in the real world. It's, it's, this is crazy town right now. It's, uh, it's disturbing and, you know, we've always been a country, except for in television, that has someone who can represent the American people with uh, knowledge and respect and proper decorum, and this is the first time that we've not had that, and uh, that's... Troubling. Tr it's Deeply it's troubling. It's incredibly <clears throat> troubling. Filming a show like this, dealing with politics all day long, do you go home and just turn off the TV because you can't handle watching the news because it's just so much? <laughs> no, you know, it's funny actually. We have CNN in the makeup trailer every day, all day while we're shooting, and then, you know, we're on set shooting, you know, our election and watching the election. It's all encompassing, but you can't you can't get home and turn it off. I mean, certainly when you want to check in with your family and be present for them, you, you have moments. But this year, I don't think anyone's really been able to turn it off, I think, because... There's a real feeling of responsibility. I think we're all feeling like, oh, actually, I can't check out now. Checking out is not the appropriate reaction. And, 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 and to have a voice and to be able to use that voice for what you feel is the right cause or the mm -hmm. right thing or the resistance or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a great I think, vehicle. you know, it is, it is, it's great to be able to, to use your voice for that, you know, even though we're being painted as Hollywood leftists, elitists, whatever you want to call it. Like, I'm a dad and I have kids and I'm a family man. I happen to just care about women. things like women's <laughs> rights. And you know, like, I want my daughter to grow up in a, in a world where she's respected equally uh, as men. Like, these are simple things that morally I feel that, well, it's not my responsibility, but if I have a voice, I'm gonna use it.